Hello Capricorn and welcome to your love reading. We're going to start with an angel answer oracle card. I don't look at it till the end and it either answers your question or becomes a part of the reason. Reason. Reading. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. You know those days where you're tired? I'm just tired. I apologize. So, oh boy. We got like a whole bunch of cards there. Too many. So, card for Capricorn. So, five, four, three, two, one. I don't look at it. Okay. We're going to get the Romance Angel Oracle card for Capricorn. If you enjoy the reading or if it resonates, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know when I release videos. I tend to release videos Friday night, Sunday morning, and Tuesday night. Uh, Tuesday night is my hump day readings for Wednesday. My love readings come out on Friday nights usually. And then my Sunday, which originally was my Sunday self-improvement, has kind of evolved into all kinds of different readings. Capricorn. Oh, I love it. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, mind you, if you're in a relationship, that's okay. Flirt with the one you love. Maybe with all this crazy stuff going on in the world, you know, that, that fun part of the relationship has been uh, quelled a bit, shall we say. Okay, Oracle of the Unicorns, card for Capricorn. Oh, I love it. Freedom. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. And this is what I was saying, you know, with all that's going on in the world right now, it may be hard to, you know, keep that connection going with somebody. And maybe that's what this is about. You know, your independence doesn't necessarily mean being alone, or maybe you're in a relationship that you want to be independent from. I don't know. But we'll keep going. If it's not your reading, check your rising sign or your Venus sign, because it is a love reading. But... um Sometimes I find that people are drawn to us when we do our own thing because they see what you're doing and they say, I wish I was doing that. And it's pretty interesting the way it works, you know, because everybody wants to have fun. I don't know about you, but if you notice on social media, they say it actually causes depression because you're looking at what everybody else is doing and you're saying, but I'm doing nothing. <laughs> but... You don't really know what they're doing. Hold on a second here. I let these come out so I could get the one card. I don't even know if I should take that card now. Let's see, Capricorn. Let's see what we got with this bit of a mess. So it would be this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and that. Okay. Here goes nothing. So we have flirt and freedom. So you're flirty. You're independent, which I have to say is very attractive to a lot of people because they like that. So if you've had some difficulties, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is turning in your favor. Uh, Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo. They are uh, pictured on here, the lion and the bull, the bottom. There could be an offer that maybe you haven't realized that it's there because the, the four of cups is like like bored but to me if you're claiming you know your independence and you're showing your freedom that should stop this boredom because this to me is saying things are changing maybe the relationship you're in has been stale and maybe that's why it's flirt and show some independent energy because things are getting kind of blasé with the high priestess, I would say, trust whatever your instincts say. If your instincts say, I should be a little more independent, do my own thing, then by all means, yes. Um, I would say this means that the five of wands, that maybe you've been arguing 
having some disagreements and that you're kind of more defensive, kind of ready for the battle and the argument with the person because now you got the nine of wands. So there's a little bit of burden here. But now the funny part is, is as all this is going on, so your relationship may be kind of bleh right now. I would imagine in light of what the world is going through, it's kind of might be a little difficult to keep it fun, interesting, flirty and, you know, doing things because there's so many limitations right now. And it might be making it harder to get along and not be defensive. But you do have <laughs> the Four of Wands. This is the marriage card. This is the union. I guess in my eyes, th what this is telling me, Capricorn, is that if you can make it through this, if you can make it past this feeling bored and this needing to have some independence and accept the fact that you can be flirty and you can do things on your own and you will come back together and you can argue and still love one another, you could end up elevating your relationship to the next level. Maybe you get engaged, maybe you move in together, but you're the star. That's, or maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. You are the star, it's wonderful. And this phase of the boredom, the needing to have independence and the needing to flirt comes to an end, death, or you're dealing with a Scorpio. So to me, Capricorn, I think it's a, it looks like a wonderful reading. It looks to me like a relationship that is going through some growing pains and you're learning how to adjust. And if you can, guys can adjust, follow your instincts on this. You know, the high priestess is the, you know, she knows. That's how I always think of her. <laughs> she, she's trying to balance things out, but you can work it out and change this all. So your, or your angel answer card is, look for a sign. <laughs> look for a sign. So, not sure what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for a sign as to know what to do, you know, to keep this energy going, this independence. Or maybe you're looking for a sign to know, is this really the right person for me? Maybe that's what you're doing. But like I said, that card, will, maybe it's, it's answering a question that I don't know. Either way, thank you so much for being here, Capricorn. I really appreciate it. Good luck to you. And don't forget, take time for you. Bye-bye.